What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Loose Powder in the ban Shea Banana. I've never used a Wet n Wild before so it's going to be like a first impressions and a wear test. I'm going to do a wear test. So yeah you guys I'm going to see how good this powder is and it costed what like 5-6 bucks and I got it in Walmart. Probably on the website. I haven't checked the price on the website, but it's probably a little bit higher. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try it out. This is a banana powder. And this is what it looks like. And it's like a lot of product for just five, six bucks, which is really, really good. This reminds me by the size of it and stuff. It reminds me of the Airspun because that's how big it is. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Do my little first impressions. I don't know how long. This has been like out for a while hasn't it i don't know i'm trying it out and it's okay there's always a first to try out new products or old products but for you it's new right anyway so if you guys want to see how good this powder if it's worth it or not then keep on watching okay i'm gonna apply my concealer and this is the maybelline concealer and it's in the shade medium I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend this out. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. I got this at Walmart and it costed what, like around five, six bucks? And this is what it looks like from inside. It has the little seal. So let me, t whoa. I barely take off the seal and it's already flying everywhere. Let me go ahead and take this seal off. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some here on the cap. Just that much. And I'm going to use the Beauty Blender and I'm going to kind of bake the bottom. Well, that's a look. I'm going to press it on first and then apply a little bit more just to prevent creases. And I'm going to apply this where I plate the concealer on my forehead I'm just gonna apply it and tap it press it into the skin especially here around my nose area and my smile lines because that's where I end up getting oily during the day so I hope this powder doesn't leave my face looking yellow Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this on for a while, and then I'm going to do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. And I look freaking crazy. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. You know what? No, I'm just going to do everything here and show you guys what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in with my bronzer from Unique in the shade Mosa. This is such a good bronzer, and I'm going to use this brush, and I'm going to use the pointed um, top to blend to not blend to apply it and then I like this brush for bronzer because I usually use the top part and then around it it just blends everything out and it leaves like a really good smooth finish let me show you okay it looks weird better mm, go ahead and fix let me go ahead and fix this side yeah this side looks more crazier than this side but I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose and I'm gonna use like this contour brush dip in my bronzer just contour here really quick Oh, 
the whole part of my inside my mouth. So now I'm just gonna wipe this down. Okay, it's definitely like a matte. Not finished, but it leaves her face matte. But it's okay because I moisturize because I intend to have dry skin. Especially when there's like weather change, my skin gets like really, really dry. Even though I do my skin routines and all that, it tends to dry. Okay, so um, if I feel like I put too much bronzer on my nose, I just get the brush and just kind of wipe towards it. And it kind of dimages, dimages, dims down. Just like that. And I like using a big powder brush because the parts that I didn't um, cover with a powder, it ends up covering all of it once I start wiping it down. So I hope my face doesn't look yellow <laughs> at the end of the day. Okay, so I like to carve down the bottom of my bronzer. So I'm just going to go in with the same powder, same um, sponge and stuff. Just dip it in there and, and mark the line like that. I like going like, like moving my lips like that. Because as you can see, it stretches and like stretches my skin, you know what I mean? And I can mark it easier like... You see that? I know I look crazy, but it works. So I'm going to leave that just a little while. I didn't bake it exactly. I just added some. But, but I'm still going to leave it there for a while. And then just kind of wipe, wipe it off with the powder brush. And, and yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes, blush, lip gloss, anything else that I need. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished doing the rest of my makeup. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sick. I just finished doing the rest of my makeup. And meanwhile, when I was finishing it, um, my face was really matte, like really dry. So I ended up spraying some Fix Plus before I added the highlighter. Because usually I do all my makeup, add highlighter, and then spray Fix Plus. This time I had to spray Fix Plus before the highlight, but... My face is looking good right now. It does look matte. It's still looking matte. So yeah, so I'm going to do like a little wear test. And let's see how it ends up lasting during the day. If it gets oily or it still kind of stays matte and how long and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'll be like checking in with you guys. So yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, so as first impression... My face still looks matte, and it's been like an hour or two, I guess, and it's still looking matte. I am going to do like a little wear test throughout the day to see how good it is if my face still looks matte or ends up getting oily or stuff, but yeah. I was worried if my face was going to stay yellow or not, so I'm going to keep an eye on that too because I don't want to be looking yellow throughout the whole day. <laughs> okay, you guys, so... I recorded the powder, like the first impressions for this Wet n Wild Banana Powder. And I honestly, that day, I was going to do like a little check-in to see how good it is and stuff. But I honestly forgot to do all that. And a week has passed and I still haven't recorded anything. So I'm going to record it now. <laughs> it's such a good powder. It did leave my face matte for a good while like more than six hours to be honest and then like usually at the end of the day my face naturally gets oily so yeah that's no problem with it i've been wearing it for like a whole week now because i've obviously haven't done check-ins i'm so bad at doing check-ins um i have to get used to doing it. yeah but like for a first impression on a whole week of wearing it i really do like the powder and it does leave my under eyes a little bright, which I love. I like it a lot. And yeah, you guys, that's about it. So yeah. Okay, beauties. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like. Um, comment down below. And also, don't
don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the rest of my social media you guys so yeah i'll see you guys on the next one bye um, so today i'm gonna show you how i did this pinky purpley glittery eye look and i ended up using the annette 69 palette